What are the main concerns you're hearing about getting the postal votes back on time? Well, the logistics of postal voting is very difficult, right? After nomination day, EC must print the ballots, pack it, send it out to thousands of voters around the world. And sometimes you get ballots two to three days before voting. So when you're an overseas voter, it's really mission impossible to send it back to Malaysia in time using your normal post. That's why in GE14, we saw so many stories of overseas voters taking flights to come back to deliver votes themselves, sending it to friends, doing all sorts of crazy things in order to get their votes back to Malaysia in time. I mean, I have to ask, right? Shouldn't the EC be playing a role here? Absolutely, right? But unfortunately, that's not happening. We've been advocating for a long time. Please use embassies. Please use the Malaysian high comms around the world as a means to make this process more efficient, right? Because it's a complete mess at the moment and overseas voters are not getting their votes in a democratic system to be counted, right? So I think that's a real problem. And there's many ways to mitigate it. Advanced voting and many solutions, but EC doesn't want to. It's just ignoring this problem and they're not trying to figure out an effective way. So like it or not, you know, these votes have to be counted and that's why we're stepping in. On the 18th, together with all these student organizations, we feel that we have to respect the value of their vote and let's bring that home.